Hey guys, welcome back to this uh, uh, session to the Arun Sharma Mindworks channel. And I'm doing a session today on I am Kozigo 2123 criteria. The last video, I'm sorry, I, well, the one I did yesterday was actually a 2022 uh, I am Kozigo called uh, uh, ka, ka selection criteria. So there are few changes in 2023. So I just wanted to bring that out and I want this to be a self contained video. So I'll also do all the other uh, aspects. So we'll just go through the whole thing again. Uh, because uh, that's what will help you. So the first thing you need to understand about 2123 selection, which is not there in 2022 selection, I am Kozi Code, is this 60% uh, criteria, the 60% aggregate score for graduation. So every candidate who wants to be eligible, see stage 1 is an eligibility uh, logic. Are you eligible to apply to I am Kozi Code? Are they going to consider you for a uh, interview call at I am Kozi Code and uh, it's not a call, it's just a qualification for the eligibility criteria for the institute and you have to have a 60% aggregate minimum in your graduation. If you're not have done, if you're not done a graduation and you apply to CA, CS or ICWA, then you have to have a minimum of 50% in that course. So this is the graduation percentage criteria that they have introduced, which was not there in 2020 or earlier year, years. Normally 60% is not too difficult to achieve, but if you have not done so well in college, if you got a 59.2 or 57 or 55, anything less than 60, in graduation, you are out. You, you, you no longer have a chance, you don't need to look, look further at I am Kozi Koda. Unfortunately, that's the way it is, we can't help it. Now, in the minimal, minimum eligibility criteria for other things, uh, there is no, uh, no change, 60% uh, in class 10th, 60% in class 12th, sectional percentile of 75% in each percentile in each section, general CAD percentile, overall CAD percentile of 85. This is the minimum eligibility criteria. So if you have a tick on this, a tick on 75 on all sections, a tick on 60% in class 10th, a tick on 60% in class 12th, and a tick on 60% in graduation, you come into the candidate pool whom they will consider for a stage to call. Your score or your what they call is your, your index score will get calculated in this, in this uh, situation. And what they call is the aggregate index score is calculated based on these components. So there's, there's a little bit of change from 2022, from the 2022 batch, in the 21-23 batch. One is, uh, in the 2022 batch, they had a class 10 percentage scores weightage was 30 percent. So first let's look at what are the components on which they will decide your aggregate index score. CAT index score, your class 10 percentage score, your class 12 percentage score, your gender academic diversity score which has a weightage of 10 percent and your work experience score. So, so they have introduced 5 percent marks for work experience which was not there earlier. So this is your 100% weighted, your, your, your overall aggregate index score will be the weighted average of these 5 scores. Now how are these 5 scores calculated? The CAD index score is calculated the same way. Let's just quickly go through them. The CAD index score is calculated as the scale scores from this 3 section with an equal weightage of CAD 2020. So this is what the CAD index score is. So as I mentioned to you, if your scale score in one section is 30, in the second section is 30, and the third section is 45, your scale score should be 1 by 3 into this plus this plus this. So your scale score, your CAT index score would come out to be 35. Equal weightages to all the three sections will give you the CAT index score. Now this will get multiplied by 0.45 to give you the final index, uh, the final value in the weighted average, but we will come to that later. Uh, the second uh, change uh, is uh, the SSE or class 10 equivalent percentage score. As I have already mentioned to you in the previous video also, uh, they do a good thing here by, uh, by actually comparing you with, your, with other people in your board. So that's something that they maintain. So if you look at how the class 10 index score is calculated, uh, what they do is first they calculated an adjusted score of class 10 and adjusted score is basically de uh, de uh, decided by 
your percentage this is the formula your percentage divided by the maximum percentage in your board but that's also important your maximum percentage in your board is not an absolute maximum the maximum percentage in your board who has applied to i am going to call so from the people who have applied to am code code from your board in the last 3 years so they look at the cat 18 candidate pool they look at the cat 19 candidate pool and they look at the cat 20 candidate pool and all these people they put into one box and from that they'll find out who has got the maximum percentage in your board so let's say you belong to a up up board uh, uh, for for class 10 you did your uh, your class 10 from up board and the highest percentage in up board in the last 3 years of a student who has applied to am code but not a student who got the highest percentage in your board he should have the highest percentage amongst those who applied in the last 3 years let's say that is 80% and your score is 76% so your adjusted score will be 76 by 80 which is 0.95 so this remains the same but the other thing is that this adjusted score is multiplied by 25 to get your equivalent percentage score so in that calculation that i showed you you will get 0.95 into 25 as your equivalent class 10 score class 10 percentage score and for the class 12 percentage score is the same thing the formula is same just that your adjusted score is going to get multiplied by 15 at the end again they are looking at at people from your board who have applied to am code code in the last 3 years including this year and it's multiplied by 15 in this case so you have adjusted score into 15 that gives you your class 12 equivalent score so you can just calculate these two uh, along with your cat index score and then uh, the gender academic diversity diversity score if you have either gender diversity or academic diversity you'll get a score of 10 on this if you don't have it you'll get a score of 0 on this and the last thing that they've introduced is work experience score so what is work experience score work experience score is basically 5x by 30 where well, if your work experience understand this well if your work experience is between 6 to 36 months 6 7 8 9 10 whatever it is that's they take the value of x as that and 5x by 36 that means if you have got a uh, an index score of uh, let's say if you got a value of x is 36 if you got a value of x is 36 you will get a work experience score of 5 into 36 upon 36 you will get 5 points and this is calculated up to december 2020 so these are the five components which will be forming part of your uh, of your uh, uh, overall uh, uh, overall score uh, or your ad, or your aggregate index score and if you got uh, if you if you are within the uh, top uh, whatever they they want to call you will get that and once you come into your final uh, uh, once you come to your final interview stage and you come to your uh, go through your fii and your uh, 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 final selection process then the final score competition is done on the basis of the cat index score gets a weighted of 44% so that's a very high percentage even at the last point so if you've done well in cat you have got a very high chance of getting through to am code record and you got a pi score of 44% so personal interview is again a very high component so there is almost a make or break component there and you also have a resume score which i guess would be based on the quality of your education also some score for uh, doing well at your graduation and the kind quality of work etc etc they'll all put it into this so that's 12% so this is your final weightage on on the final selection so that's how i am in the i am i am cozy code is is doing your the final selection in 2023 so i hope this is clear to all of you uh, thank you so much and uh, pardon me for the error that we made yesterday that was the 2022 uh, admission criteria that we talked about in yesterday's video Thank you so much this is this is a complete discussion of 2123 thank you so much see you soon